Hey, I'm back. So, um, been gone for a little minute because um, my old, uh, what's the word? My old drive failed. Um, not talking about car, talking about my storage. Um, it broke in my computer, so I lost some uh, good races, unfortunately, and uh, had to wait to get a replacement. And I lost a lot of stuff, and so I've had to re-download some things, but, uh, got it all figured out. We're here at Dover in the Arca car. I missed about a week of races, and I haven't raced in about two weeks now, so I'm way out of practice. And I'm really hoping that I don't, uh, wreck people here. And another thing, it's gonna take me, uh, a race or two to get my, um, okay, We've got two. sound to get settings back done. to normal, because, uh, that took, ooh, that took uh, some fine tuning to get right, and if you uh, didn't notice just then, boy, this car's loose. So, uh, oh dang, I forgot to take the <laughs> driving line off. I'll do that before the race. But uh, green, green, green. probably just gonna take okay. it somewhat easy because I'm out of practice, and this car's a bit of a handful anyway. So, um, gonna be pretty tough. Hopefully get a good lap in here. I was able to do some practice, but half of the practice was me trying to figure out how to get my audio and stuff back normal. And uh, as you can see, I need it as a horrible three and four there. So that's great. That's Paul. Your lap time was 23.4. Uh, I haven't even gotten my like spotter stuff all figured out yet, so hopefully that doesn't come back and bite me. But. Uh, It'll just be a fun race. Take it easy and have a good time. Not, 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 the not my favorite, not my best lap there. I improved my second lap a tiny right. bit, but not quite where I want it, unfortunately. Um, the number four car, because it's pretty late at night. Um, <laughs> gonna get my butt kicked probably by some guys that hopefully I would normally be able to do a little better than, but. Uh, like I said, I'm super out of practice and I'm not feeling very well on top of that. So, um, my main goal here is to just uh, not make any dumb mistakes and uh, get myself a decent finish. Avoid wrecks, hopefully. Um, I probably would have been better off a little higher up, maybe. I don't know, hard to say. And those key laps, but uh, wasn't my best effort. I'm on some new medication for my anxiety, so I'm kind of in between right now, and I got some brain confusion going on, feeling dazed, so it probably wouldn't let me in a real race car, <laughs> let's put it that way, but uh, I'm going to do my best, and if I'm really that bad, I don't think I'm that bad, I think I should be okay, but uh, obviously I wouldn't race if I didn't feel that I could be a good competitor, so we'll get just a little bit more practice in. Like I said, the car is super loose uh, here in the Arca car at Dover. Um, in the race, I'm probably going to be uh, a little bit of brake drag and probably be easier on the throttle to hopefully uh, keep the car treating me well as the race goes on. Uh, it's real easy to just lose it on the exit of the corner. Super easy. Um, and it's, ki it's that kind of loose where, like, if you... If it starts snapping, it's very hard to get, you know, snap out of it to uh, stop it from going around. So you uh, want to prevent that before it starts, kind of thing. And uh, of course, all my uh, in data and information being lost meant I had to, you know, get my force feedback and everything back normal too. And that was a bit of an adventure because um, this seems like a a bit of an interesting track to set up your force fat feedback for anyway because the car itself like the setup and stuff makes the car feel really floaty um, so normally you'd want to set it up the force feedback a little higher at least I would that's how I like to do it so I get a little more feeling in it but um, while it's pretty floaty the track the track itself is pretty bumpy too got that concrete surface here at over and so you've got a weird mix of you know, feeling pretty numb when you're trying to 
get a feel for the car while also hitting these bumps the whole time. So it's like <laughs> nothing, 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 and then bump, bump, bump. <laughs> it's all or nothing. It's a pretty interesting thing to deal with. Uh, but I think I've got a nice happy medium that I like here where it's not bumping the steering wheel out of my hands, but also I have uh, I get a, get an idea on uh, what, what the car's doing, how it's reacting. So hopefully that's good. Um, I feel like maybe it's just me out of practice, but it feels like my uh, throttle pedal's more sensitive than it used to be. Uh, as we qualified third there, that's pretty good. I thought we were going to be worse than that with the qualifying lap I had. I didn't feel like it was very good. Um, I'm going to have to make sure I'm keeping the tires on the thing. Hopefully the audio's okay. Um, I kind of went for like a conservative approach so I could, so um, I could actually be heard. Oh man, why isn't tab working? Oh great, I can't see. I can't adjust to my. Uh, last lap that stinks so okay guess I won't have that um I guess I have to set I thought that was on there by default where you could hit tab and it would cycle through your best laps and all that but uh, I guess I have to set up that key that's frustrating so no um best last lap and I forgot to turn off the stupid driving line too oh my god okay uh, I gotta get my bearings again um, so, whatever. I, uh, driving line is easily ignored. So, not a big deal. Um, number one car in front of us, Sozio, he's real fast. I could easily see him pulling away from us without much of a problem. Or, you know, um, maybe we'll keep up with him for a little bit at the start, and then, uh, our tires will fall off, and then his won't. <laughs> that seems to be what a lot of the really talented guys... Uh, what a lot of those talented guys can do is find a way to be fast and uh, save the tires at the same time. And for me, it's uh, I gotta pick one or the other. So um, we'll just try to get a top ten here. I think that's my goal. Um, I think that should be attainable. Seems like I'm. Uh, I've got enough speed to do that. I'm dropping to the back of the pack. Okay. Got guys being really conservative, it looks like. It's interesting. Hopefully we don't get a bunch of uh, wrecked cars all over the track. You know, it's a supposedly a self-cleaning racetrack. <laughs> so you would hope you wouldn't get a pile up on here, but uh, I've seen quite the contrary before. My volume is not where I want it. Is this a first gear start? That's curious. Okay, well, I'm feeling so out of practice and I'm pretty nervous. Hoping I do an okay job. And uh, hoping I don't loop it on the first lap or two on these cold tires because it's so easy. Already going? Am I going to I don't know how the black flag would work, but I did not want to get one from passing him. Because I got just a much better start than he did, because I think he was sleeping. Oh boy, got guys getting loose already. Why do you do that? Mm-mm, I can feel it. I can feel the looseness. It's scary. It's hard to describe. Um, but the force feedback, you can feel it, and that's why the force feedback is so useful. You can feel the car getting lighter, and uh, that's when you know you gotta stop pushing as hard when you're like exiting the corner. And it's a real fine line. You gotta walk. But I'm trying to save tires too. Keeping that in mind as I'm going. remembering that my throttle pedal is real sensitive. Or I've forgotten how to be as sensitive on the throttle you pedal as the uh, map practice. That lap time One of the 
got a guy kind of coming up behind us. Um, I have to keep an eye on that. He wants to get by. Some yeah, incidents that was back, back there happening. So that's a thing. Don't want to get in the wall, that's for sure. Mm, that was loose, that was loose, but we're good, we're good. Fine line, I'm telling you. But the car's gonna get tight here before too long, as the tires wear, and I'm gonna be missing the loose car. <laughs> kind of getting to the bumper, this guy. Maybe I'm pushing too hard, or maybe uh, I have to save tires with a little that better. Was Who knows? Well, let's not plow him over. If I had my uh, last lap to compare to. I would know if I'm falling off, or, you know, obviously I'm going to be falling off, but know how hard, so I can plan accordingly, that's why I like to have that, but we got lap traffic traffic up here, which does not make me feel comfortable, because this is a pretty low strength of field, so these guys probably aren't going to know how to give room properly, and they're less likely to be able to get out of the way, or control their car. Maintaining the gap behind us a little bit. Not that was at 23.9. It's a pretty intense race. I don't know if it looks like that way on the ins on the outside, but uh, it's one of those races you're gripping the wheel real tight and you're on edge. You've just done a 23.7. But we're not. Uh, Leader hasn't pulled away from us, so that makes me suspect that my uh, my guess that uh, <laughs> they're saving tires better than us might be true. But maybe not. Maybe I'm doing a good job, huh? <laughs> That's the hope. They're falling off a little behind us. So that was uh, a little better than they are, I guess. Keep them down low, hopefully to uh, aid the tire wear in a way that's beneficial to us. Oh man, I'm dizzy. In real life, just because of my ailments. Uh, working against me here. Wonder if we'll be able to get a nose on this guy if he's falling off anymore. Tight. Got a car outside. Still there. The gap between the and the behind is now 4.1. That lap was at 23.9. He's still there. I didn't want to get tied up into him. Still there. You're clear outside. Uh, that did not work. I'm too out of practice. I didn't want to push it any harder than I was already, and all I did was slow us down. So that was not. The well, best done, but uh, I didn't want to overdrive it on myself and wreck either of us, so that's fine. This lap car is on the bottom line for some reason. Doesn't know how to get out of the way for the leaders. Car outside. Okay, we're fine now. Clear outside. might have to think about how I was uh, going about trying to pass him before, if we can even get back to him. <laughs> I might have used up my only chance, but uh, I don't know. I don't know how I want to go about trying to pass him if I get back there. Maybe this is just one of those tracks where passing super hard, I don't know. I haven't uh, watched... Uh, too much, and that's another thing. Normally, I'd like to watch some more video of the guys going at it, seeing how they do it, and 
I didn't do that as much as I normally would this time. The guy behind us, like, behind us is actually catching up, so that's a little bit concerning. So maybe my tire wear is not great. Kind of losing my uh, rhythm though too, so. Deep breath. As I would drive it. This is where the session last lap would be really nice. doing I didn't do much uh, long run practice so oh man I'm not feeling well either <laughs> barfing at the wheel <laughs> that's not, that's not good this guy catches us and uh, seems to have a run on us I'm gonna let him go so I think I uh, have not done a good job of saving the tires unfortunately Got my brake bias set back, which you would uh, hope would get the car to rotate a little better as the guy's wrecking below us. Thankfully not in the middle of the track. It's, uh, the car's not right where I want it right now. Because we're getting more into that tight territory rather than the looseness that we were experiencing before. sitting there now. Mm -hmm. This out of the corner, not what you want. Felt like I was getting close to the wall. He's getting close. One more mistake and he's probably going to get a nose on me. I don't know where I'm losing time. I like having that too. I mean, if you had a real crew chief, you'd be saying like, oh, we're losing time in three and four. Competitors are entering a bit higher. You know, stuff like that. It's essentially the same information okay, I'm getting from, uh, distance. You're looking good for fuel. from the last lap comparison. That's uh, not here. Saved it, thankfully. Heard him apologize, that's fine, whatever. We got a big gap, and we're still here for a top five, so. Tires are gonna be uh, hot, so we gotta keep that in mind. Maybe with this extra gap, I can focus on saving tires. I know how to do that. I've seen guys do that thing where you break and, uh, and uh, hit the accelerant at the same time. You know, kind of hitting both. I don't know anything about doing that properly. The Yapta Hildebrandt uh, ahead is now 1.6 seconds. That's something I should learn how to do. Some guys just say that's just how they do it naturally. And, uh, P5. That's not me. Normally it's one or the other for me. <laughs> but uh, we're still gaining on sixth place, even if we're losing to the guys in front. So that's looking like a nice top five if we can keep it under us. Which, you know, easier said than done because this thing is just getting tighter and tighter. You've just done a 
But I imagine I, I'm not the only one. So, probably the guys behind us also getting tired. Ooh, that wall gets closer when the car gets tighter, too. So, I'm gonna have to be careful. That was a 25.0. I'm like hitting the brake and it's not registering the either. I'm wondering if I need that to be more sensitive. <laughs> Everything feels off. Let the car give us room. Car outside. <sighs> kind of. Kind of waited a minute to get off the bottom lane, but that's fine, I guess. Just tap the wall because we had to enter weirdly. Just done a no, 25 thing. That was a very light tap. Kind of just getting my uh, sea legs under me after being out the of practice a little bit. Ahead is increasing. It's now the longest break I've had for my racing in a, in a while, so kind of just got to get it to uh, get back into it a bit. And of course, I pick a, a bit of a tough race to do it on. But uh, I think we're doing okay. Top five should be fine if we can hold on to it. The Grand Sixth has gotten a little closer, but it's pretty much well maintained, and I have to deal with that lap car and scraping the wall. So I think we should be able to expand that a little bit. Uh, we got a bit of a battle brewing in front of us. That's interesting. The guy that bumped us out of the way by accident is in front of a. Uh, that yellowish car. I think it was like yellow. Hard to tell from here. But, uh, maybe he'll use that in his, his bump of me as an excuse to be like, hey, I saw you racing, so that's how I'm going to get by you. Maybe that's how that'll go down. Seems like a lot of people look for every excuse they can to use their bump. <laughs> but I don't know if that's how it's going to end up there. Could just end up happening unintentionally, too. It's very hard to pass here, it looks like, otherwise. So. Be on the lookout for that. Thankfully, there haven't been any huge pileups from the guys in the back wrecking. That lap time was 25.0. Self-cleaning track. Seems like it's held up that uh, end of the bargain. seconds. Up to this point. Wish I had my last lap. I don't know. I'm trying different things to help uh, the that car turn as this run goes on, and I don't know if they're working. <laughs> I mean, I could pay attention to my lap times, but I don't have that freedom to start staring like, oh, okay, that was 25, 141, and then I gotta do this lap. Okay, that was a tenth faster, but how was it a tenth faster? Where did I get in that time? I don't know. So, that's too bad. I think we'll be fine uh, cruising our way to this top five. Don't think we can go south from here, but maybe we can move forward if these guys start bumping into each other. Now we're gonna go up, up hopefully. We're uh, under 10 laps to go, so unless I'm gonna, you know, racket ball it off the wall, I think we should be good. But man, there are a few scarier tracks than uh, Dover when you've got a tight race car. Right up there with like Darlington, where that wall just wants to take a bite out of you. The Monster Mile. They call it that for a reason. I always like that uh, little walkway right over there. Little glass walkway over here. Got little fans in there. <laughs> I think they have fans modeled in there. Can't really look, because that's kind of the entrance of the corner. I have to pay attention to where I'm entering the corner, but I always thought that was a cool little feature of this track. Love to 
see how that looks uh, in real life one day. Come on, dude. Oh, we got a wreck. Something happened. I have a tire now, and you hit me, and it was. You've done nothing but talk to Paul Ray. Oh my god, god. turn car, please. Uh oh. <laughs> Something <laughs> happened now. That's a lap car. Slowed up uh, Yellowman. The yellow guy. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna catch him though, unless he's got damage. Or if he damages himself more by hitting that wall. Got guys wrecking each other, lap cars, I guess. Catch yeah, this guy if he's out of rhythm. Oh, turn the car. <laughs> or not. Uh, only got a couple laps to go. I don't see it happening, but that guy should was not be on the bottom two. line. As that slow of a car, that's not very cool of him. Yeah, we got a low strength of field here, so those guys are probably still pretty new or inexperienced. So. They don't know what better. There's Gilly. Yeah. That was something. My volume's too low. I need to adjust that for next time. Of course, maybe I'm happy I'm not here. Two laps remaining. That lap was over. Not turning anymore. One to go. No plan. Bring it home for a nice flag. top five in my return. Ahead is now 1.8 seconds. My return, I say it was only two weeks. It's not like I was gone for six months, but it sure feels like it. Get the car to turn one last time. <laughs> Begging it just to turn one more time, and then we make it. All right, top five. I'm happy with that. The goal is top 10, I got a top 5. That's it. That's We're cool. Done. Number 4 car, got 5th. That's pretty much about where I was supposed to be, so. 1 car 1. Knew that was going to happen. I know he's pretty good, so. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much that. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, that's that guy. I'm going to respond until it's okay. No, I'm actually really happy to. Do, do, do. For FU21. That was the worst start ever. No problem. I know it wasn't was intentional. No, it was a 21. No, it wasn't on purpose, man. You just came do, up do, on do, do, so fast do. and you kind of move over pretty quick. I was bad on yeah, my man. tires and slow mid corner. Yeah, that's what happened there. Um. My tires were falling off pretty fast, and I was slower mid-corner than he was probably expecting. That's probably why he touched the my rear end, and uh, I was able to save it, so it wasn't too bad. So, that's fine. Um, we'll take a look at uh, what happened out there. I didn't, I didn't even get an X for it, I don't think. Yeah, it was zero X, so really no harm done at all. I was trying to set up a run completely on me. <laughs> Very good. Uh, my keyboard's off to the side, so I can't <laughs> touch it right. Very good. Nice run. I was able to save it and keep top five. Okay, let's take a look out uh, at my window. See what's uh, happened out there. Let me get rid of this piece of garbage. <laughs> um, lap one. Oh yeah, the start was super weird. That's why I'm not all the way out here. My my keyboard not connected. What's happening here? It won't even let me do. Uh, it won't let me do anything. My keyboard. I don't know what's happening. Control. might not be able to do incidents this time unfortunately because I don't know why my keyboard's not connecting properly but it wasn't let me do anything because where man I don't know I'm trying to 
trying to find all my info. Like, oh, frustrating. Okay, well, I guess that's going to be the end of the video. I'll have this fixed. Yeah, look, cycle splits delta display tab. Tab. And it wasn't doing it. So what's the deal? Okay, now it's working. I don't know what's going on, man. That guy's gone. No. Okay, so. Come back to lap one. Now can we do incidents? Okay, there. Jeez. Scoop jump. Okay, so we got the Harvick looking skin getting loose in front of that guy. And uh, he kind of had to dodge it and hit the wall. Oof, that was a hard hit. Right took him out of the race. Oh no, man! Almost did a somersault. That was a heavy hit. And then he can't control his car at this point. The steering's probably broken. But, uh, there's gonna be some chaos probably in the back here. It's bouncing off the walls. Oh god, what is that scheme? <laughs> Primary colors. I'm not talking about the Jeff Gordon car, obviously. <laughs> looking at that weird snake looking car weird <laughs> uh, oop, oop, loose out of the corner kind of saved it though but he's squirreling all over right scaring the pants off the main car but uh, they negotiated it pretty well he's kind of, like, kind of he's fighting back um, this is a guy in front of me at the start here maybe baby tap of the wall, I think that was even real. That was real. <laughs> That's about as real as it gets. You'll see that a whole ton at Dover. That wall. You'll see it uh, both in 2 and 4, but mostly 2 is where it gets people. There's a little bit of turn 4 getting them. Ricky Bobby blinking out. Exit corner. Hit it pretty hard. Okay, I guess it is both turn two and four. Maybe it's just me that uh, has more trouble with turn two. There you got loose. Kind of got on the apron there. Got up and got it. Oh, and then squirreling some more. He almost kind of looks like he needs to lower his uh, steering ratio or something. It kind of looks like he doesn't have the response time he needs. Ooh. Oh yeah, and then he's the guy that sat there for like a couple laps. Skittles. Oh. A little more in the wall. Okay, here, here we might have some car to car contact. Almost. 20 bounces up a little bit, but two got by him, thankfully for him. That 16. Ooh. Pretty nervous time. Here's me. I think this is when I tap the wall. Eh, medium hit. Didn't get stuck to it or anything. Didn't do any damage. That was the one thing I had going on. Wasn't enough for a 2x. I got no incidents out of it, so I don't think it affected the car at all. Bouncing off. And some pack. That's pretty scary. This car looks like it's got a questionable choice for the number color. <laughs> they look. That looks like maybe they had a different scheme and then they changed their paint and then forgot to change the number. <laughs> I've done that before. Uh oh, nervous time out of the corner. Okay, they did it. Overall, a little cleaner than I expected it to be. You know, none of these wall hits are turning in any worse. I mean, it's still. Uh, even though it was kind of low participation right now, it's still top split of probably two or three, so. Still had to earn your way into this race in a way. Doesn't even anything. Tiny head sees anything. But the state car looks like he's making a habit out of it. Except that nothing really happened there. Is this me? Did I touch the wall again? No. 
Yeah, we're getting some weird non-incidents going on here. Yeah, that's gonna be nothing. If anything, that's a wall tap. Uh-oh. Of course, I skipped the one time. It's probably a big hit. Didn't like you either. Hey, man. I just want to <laughs> got it pretty good. Oof, got it pretty good. Oh, no. Uh-oh. That's dangerous. I think I was in the middle of a big pack. Like if those guys were a little closer, it could have been worse, but it looks like it's still causing problems. Huh. Some guys like came back and started fighting on the chat again. <laughs> it's been like an hour. Uh, second place, doing nothing. I'm seeing it anyway. Okay, this is the incident we had. The lap car. We could have passed that guy if he got caught in that a little bit more, but uh, is that the same guy that ran into us? No, okay. So, it was a different guy, but kind of did the same thing, but in a different part of the track where the guy couldn't save it. So that's unfortunate for the lap car, and but, uh, the guy that hit him didn't really suffer at all in a link. I don't think he lost any spots. Don't think that's much of anything. I do like that like uh, old school M&M's car, though. It's kind of a Kenny Schrader kind of era of having the M&M's. This is potentially dangerous. Seven cars. To, uh, so that's a real tough spot to be in when you're already having trouble turning and you're on the outside. No tap. Probably nothing. nothing. Okay, we got a couple of guys next to each other here. This is a guy who got wrecked a minute ago. He's fine. Gordon in seventh here. It's fine. Well, I think the race is over at this point. This is the end of the race. Yeah, so I don't even know why we're seeing all this stuff. But uh, race is over at that point. I do want to go back and look at my save. Um, there, the guy tapped me. Assume that was here. Yeah. He was on my back bumper. We'll take a look at this. So yeah, I was pretty slow through the corner. He's trying to get a run, and I know it's real hard to pass here, so I'm not too upset about it. I know what he's trying to do. You gotta get every inch of run you can get, and so he's kind of coming in hard. Taps me. It's, uh, whew, I was able to save it. I'm glad I went from 16 to 1 steering ratio to 14 to 1 before the race. Because I don't know if I saved that with 16 to 1. Get sideways. You can see how far my wheel is over on the bottom left. Taps me. I'm like, oop, gotta save it. A little bit of gas. To keep it going the right direction. Keep it on the apron. You don't want to straddle that. Uh, you don't want to straddle the apron because that's just gonna get your car uneven. So I kind of like try to keep it down there. Don't want to get back up and hit that guy and uh, get going some more. Because uh, we had some gap there and we were able to keep it. So not too big of a deal. You know what? I want to look at a pace car. Over. Yeah. So. I was able to save and still get a top five. Um, the guy was faster anyway, so he was probably going to pass me at some point. Maybe we could have held this guy off, but uh, who knows. Top five, though. Still happy with that, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to do some more races here soon and get back into the swing of things. But for now, that's it from uh, Arca Dover. Thanks for watching.